Hello everyone and welcome to your Division 5 stream tonight. We are here at Monza and I'm joined by the Colcom for once, Aaron SEO. How are we? Yeah, I'm doing not too bad, mate. Um, second night of this at Monza was very good watching um, Division 1. I've seen that we had a um, red flag in Division 2 last night as well. So, um, yes, we did. Hoping for... A bit of a cleaner race, but oh, as no. we can see, it is absolutely wet. shucking it down. So we only have 14 drivers tonight, so we are having a short qualifying session. 18 minutes, set the fastest time possible, around a very wet Monza. It's going to be tricky, especially at the Ascari chicane. Some drivers going to be liking this, some drivers not so much. We might be used well, to I'm not sure a lot of these drivers would have a wet set up compared to the ones that are on the track. Slips. Front runners for both, I know. Here. The only Ferrari on the grid right now. As we have the other his teammate not racing with us tonight. You can already see drivers struggling with the map already. Lux here. This will be the first lap of the session. Then we will drive out gain a full position in the last race we did. It's always entertaining when it was around Australia. We raced last week. This will be the full position. We're going to sadly DNF in the race though. Starting the first lap. Traffic ahead with the half driver that will be hitting nicely out of the way. It was very deep. There's the all drivers are on full wets. There's no one here in immediate conditions. The slips goes flying over them curbs there. Keeping it nice and tidy, decides to stay away from that outside curb. He doesn't spin, he goes wide and just about keeps it in, maybe went just a bit off, but he does not invalidate his time. So the other car is going to keep pushing, see how far he can get. He's got a purple sector too, but he's always the first driver across the line. Very tricky for that Ascari chicane. Looks coming to the line. What will he set the first lap of 134.7? Instantly beat by DCFC by two seconds there. Here's the next car across the line. Looks as if it's a Mercedes. It's not. A bit of a turn one. What's happened here? Two cars going straight on at turn one. Looks getting out of the way. Let's go further here.
We have got, I believe, we've got um, Adam Moore coming out on an outlap, followed by the um, McLaren one, so um, we've got days in the pit lane, we've still got Lisa, Regret, and Motor Power, maybe hoping for the rain to ease off a little bit as we see Lauvez going P3 in the background. Watching Grave Digger coming to the line now on the pass. Obviously, he is second in the championship right now, closely behind AKA the Legend, who is not racing with us tonight. As Grave Digger goes P3 with a 133 1. Not bad there from the Hash driver. We'll watch. No, we won't, we won't watch Love Race because he's on an in lap, looks like. Dark Shadow goes fourth fastest with a 33-4. But Dace Freak deciding to retire. Oh, he's got a qualifying ban, sorry. The McLaren driver has a qualifying ban from last race in Australia. As we have... We'll have to have someone else invite Lisa back in because they're on a different console. Timo goes P4 with a 133 foot. Respectful lap from both hash drivers there. We have Adam Moore starting his first lap. And Thorpe on his second lap, or third lap even. Not set a time, so he must have invalidated on both of his times. You see Lavarez jumping up to P2 with a 132.7. But no one can beat that time from DCFC so far. Obviously, we don't know. How much the track will improve. We've got a car spinning off there. Who's that? Looks like an that Alfa Romeo. An Alfa Romeo of JR Bradshaw who has spun it just on the entry to the second Lesmo corner. We're watching BBB4 here. Coming for the Ascari chicane. Goes wide and might invalidate that time, but he keeps it actually. I'm not sure if Thor's actually pushing because he's got full percent ERS. Slicks put out a better um, lap just then, going third fastest with a 32 8. That is more respectable than his 34. Showing the pace that we know he does have, hopefully, can convert it into some good race pace because we know that Slicks is a very unlucky man when it comes to the race as we see Thor going eight fastest. Yeah, I don't think Thor was really pushing near the end of that lap, but we have Adam Moore, who is also not pushing. Obviously, Adam Moore was an absolutely brilliant drive last week. Obviously, he did not take part in qualifying, and he managed to storm all the way up to P3 from the back of the grid. Or was it even P2? It was one of them. It was a very impressive drive nonetheless. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, we're watching Adam here on his first proper lap. Going into turn one. Actually, Aaron, take us through this lap in the way. I shall um, head through turns one and two, keeps it nice. It's quite easy to lose the rear on the exit of the second corner. Heading through the Curva Grande right now, um, keeping it towards the centre of the track just so that um, he doesn't find himself clipping the grass and ultimately spinning. Heading into the chicane now, clips the inside curb and hits the um, outside, stays off of the outside curb because it is. One way that you can spin, heading into the first of two Lesmo corners, um, keeps it relatively nice and has gotten very close to the edge of the track, thankfully not invalidating. Through the second Lesmo corner now, rides the ex exit curb down what would be a DRS straight, but in the wet obviously we do not have DRS. Heading down the back, this first of two back straights now, into the famous Ascari chicane. Very tricky in the dry, so even trickier in the wet, it goes purple through the second sector. Seems to have done it very nicely in the wet as Adam Moore. Um, heading down the back straight now into the very famous corner, the Parabolica, the final corner. This is where it can make or break your lap. He seems to be taking it nice and cautiously. Full throttle now as he heads towards the exit. And it's a quick dash to the line now. Underneath the podium. It's going to be fastest with a 31.662. Very good lap. Very, very good lap there from Adam Moore.
Um, we've got Lisa Vince needs an invite back. I'll get on to that. If you can, please, Anne, that would be really helpful. I'll do my best. We've got who's the next across the line? Seems to be an Aston Martin of Brick Rip. Uh, Alpine of Brick Rip, sorry. He's starting a lap. I think it will be. Uh, it might be a motive carrot. I think it is. I think they're on an outlap as well. Who have we got coming the line? Actually, I don't think it's anyone. I'm going to leave the um, game just for two seconds so I can add Lisa to get her back in. Lisa is on a different console, Aaron. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm going to leave the game, add the EA, and come back in. Okay. Okay. So we're watching a motive carrot here on their first lap of the session. Well, not the first lap, but they've done a 134.4, which is nowhere near on the pace. The motive carrot is usually a consistent qualifier. She has got the pace for the podiums as we've seen in pre-season. She's always consistently in the points as well. We'll watch what the Aston Martin can do. I think we've got Brick Rip. No, he's on an outlap, I think. We'll just stay on board with a motive carrot here. To the um, the back, the first of many back stretches. I said no DRS as well, because we're obviously in the wet. Coming into the scary, but clap that inside the curb. Make sure you don't spin it on that inside curb. A little lift off from Carrot. They're obviously not happy enough with the setup to be taking that a little bit flatter. Obviously we are in the rain, so stuff might change. Coming into the parabolic and out. Final corner of the lap, make sure you're not spin it here. As we know what can happen if you spin it, as we watched in the Div 2 race last night. We had a red flag, first of many to come, I'm sure. Move carrot up to P4 with a 132.4. A lot more respectable from the Aston Martin driver there. Right, I'm back in the session. Yeah. No, I was just, I just, just getting an invite oh, for good. you. Mr. Days Freak hooked me up with that invite, so thank you very much. We've got Timmer starting our lap here. Five lap old wets for Timmer. Must be running a very high field here. Only five minutes left in the session. They've gone down to neutral, coming through turn one. Well, it's not really ideal for the half driver there. Obviously, their teammate is up in second place. Timmer has had some very solid results since rejoining RSF1, so he'll be hoping to make a name for himself here at Monza. Oh, absolutely. We've only got two drivers yet to set, one driver to set a time, and that is obviously Vince Lisa, but they disconnected from the session, and this week obviously has a qualifying ban from Australia last week. Yeah, watching Timmer here, very, on, very, very much on the limit there. I don't even know if they're pushing or not. Well, you don't really no, have I think to they've push. Out. Wait, sorry, this is short qualifying, I just forgot. They do need to push, but Timo, if he is pushing, he's not using any of his ERS. I, don't know who, I think we've got a bunch of drivers coming out of the pit lane now for their final laps of the session. Timo, I don't think Timo will be pushing this lap. He's not used any of his ERS, but we'll watch him go to the line anyway. I think we've got Slicks on a lap as well. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, that was an out lap for him up. He just never told us that. Going at turn one, break nice and early, so you don't overshoot turn one. And it's a fast left-hander right into turn two. Easy on the throttle here. As you want the best exit possible for a long curved straight. Well, it's not really straight if it's curved, is it? <laughs> it's a, what, what would you call this? A long. What would you, it's not a back straight, is it? Well, the one after um, the Lesmos. After, no, after turn one and two. I'd just call it a turn. 
I just call yeah. that right hand off. But Tim are completely missing the chicane there, so they'll have to go again. If they have enough fuel for that. So we'll watch someone else. We've got, an, an, got Bradshaw jumping over that chicane as well. Driver's struggling with that chicane, as we can see. Who have we got on a lap then? We have DCFC on a lap. The fly driver sat in third place. Flex just went fourth fastest as well with a 32 4. Good lap there from the Alpha Tower driver. The only Alpha Tower driver. We've got no reserves here tonight either. It's DCFC managed to take that King very nicely actually. Coming into the first Lesmo. Decides to stay off that curb. Just clipped the outside curb. Don't take too much of that. Monza is a very frustrating track to drive in the wet, as it is difficult in the it's difficult with the fast corners in the dry. Never mind the wet. Come down the first back straight into the famous Ascari chicane. What can he do here? Keeping it nice and tidy looks like not too greedy on the throttle. Took that very nicely. It's good for Ferrari driver. Ferrari's home race, so DCF will be looking to impress, obviously. For my sake as well, as a Ferrari fan. As your sake as well. We have one Red Bull here tonight. And two Mercedes. DCFC sets a brilliant lap time there. It's three tenths faster than Adam Moore for 131.3. It was a very, very good lap there. Lap. What comes to the line? I think we've got BVB4 coming to the line. No, we don't. We've got Lisa Vince deciding not to come out at all this session. We've got Dark Shadow coming to the line now, one second up on his provisional time. He's doesn't seem to improve. Yeah. I was wondering why we didn't see any uh, movement from the Red Bull driver. I thought I'd give him. got DCFC. Sorry, you go again, I was just, just going to mention, I thought we were going to um, give a little mention to the fact that um, Slux is the only Alpha Tauri out on the track tonight, as are a few other drivers, but it is crucial because other Alpha, Tau Alpha Tauri drivers, obviously AK the Legend, who is one of the fastest, if not arguably the fastest, in this division. So all the pressure lies on Slux's shoulders tonight. Does he have to... Carry Alpha Tauri here. Absolutely. Obviously leading the driver championship. Not sure about the constructors, I would assume they're close to that as well. Is it so checking the flags out? DCFC coming to the lane now. Will they go to the pits or will they continue this lap? It's the pit lane. We'll have a look at other drivers. Grave Digger coming to the lane now. What's going to be? 5 out. Grave Digger takes pole position. Wow, fantastic. 131 Got a motive carrot. Behind their teammate here. Getting a slipstream oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. It's not going to be enough to improve. Got slicks coming to the line, I think. Maybe not, I might be wrong. 5 tenths down on this time, so it won't improve. Got Thor, who's invalidated. I think DCFC might be on a lap here. No, it's um, it's DC80 and the um, Alpine that will be the next one across line. Oh yeah, I'm getting DCA, confused sorry. between those two. It's an easy, yeah, it's no, an it's easy one to confusing. do. Both DCs, obviously. I don't think Tim was on a lap. Nice no, invalidated. So it is DC80 brick rip. Come to the line, what will they set? Enough for P8, not bad there from the Alpines. P7 and P8. That is your qualifying done for the Italian Grand Prix. Grave Digger obviously Grave showing, Digger. showing why he's in with the championship fight. He'll be here to pick up any, he'll be here wanting to do well as his championship rival will not be racing this week or next week. This will be absolutely brilliant time. For Grave Digger to pull some points here. We've got the Ferrari of DCFC in second place. Very, I'd say he's a very underrated qualifier, DCFC. He's always up there in the top five.
So there's our grid oh, for this race. Oh, look how close it was. Five thousands between Gravedigger and DCFC. Nothing in it between these two. Obviously, two drivers not set in a lap. Days Freak with a qualifying ban and Vince Lisa. Who disconnected and decided not to go out back on track. Now the question is, what are the conditions going to be for the race? Hopefully nice and dry for us, so it's a nice race to commentate on. Anyway, that's very close between the top two, there's nothing in it between them. As we move on to the race, and it's going to be nice and sunny, it looks like. So I'm sure quite a few of the drivers will be happy about that one. Absolutely. Hopefully none of them took a wet setup for qualifying. Because they would be very, very vulnerable in the race. They would just get eaten alive on the straights. Absolutely. They just get eaten alive everywhere, mm -hmm. to be honest. In these situations, you've got to prioritise a race setup. Yeah, 100%. Because obviously, um, the points are scored in the race. We do not get any points for qualifying. It would be great if you did get points for qualifying, but... That just means Max Verstappen would win the championship even sooner. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Seems to be flying right now. It's good to see a Ferrari on the front row here at Monza. We had one on Sunday as well. In Division 1. But I don't think um, Rob Kelly will be wanting me to talk about that one because... The game, the game did screw him over with a late pit stop that was not in his control. Yeah, that's... The game... This game has its moments, as we found out with a lot of the division and a lot of the races. But... I think I've not... I think what I've noticed something that is quite unusual. We do not have a single Williams on the grid. That is quite unusual. We've got Liam obviously celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday, Liam. Who is, I think, out celebrating. He's and out. we've also got. He's out for a family meal. <laughs> and we've and also got. I'm not sure where his teammate yeah, is. Yeah, Daniel P45, maybe just not being able to make it tonight. Good evening to everybody in chat. We've got Crayon Flower. We've got AK Legend. Good got to Legend. see him. Good to see that Legend. Always nice to see him. Come in to support his teammate, obviously, and we've got Chris Mick as well. So good evening to everybody. And obviously Mando as well, well Rodders now. But yeah, should be a good race. I'm very looking forward to this, are you? Yeah, absolutely. Always I'm thrilling excited to, watch. to see what happens. I'm absolutely excited to see what will happen in a turn one. Will drivers take it cautiously? Or will we see a massive dive bomb in a turn <laughs> one? Hopefully the second, the first stop. Yeah, the first option, we don't want <laughs> anyone crashing out in the first corner. Did it happen last night in Division 2? Um, no, I think everybody made it through safely, but two laps later at the Parabolica, all hell broke loose. Three car pile up, causing a red flag. The first one to be seen in RSF1. Yeah, absolute first ever RSF1 red flag. We've got Nifty Nazare in the track again. Second week in a row, maybe even more, saying that Bradshaw for the win again. That's a bold prediction. Chris McSing is in his house watching with a cup of tea and chocolate digestives. Well, Chris Mc, you've sorted yourself out, mate. Can't go wrong with a cup of tea and a biscuit. Controversial, I do not like tea or coffee. This is not controversial. There's something wrong with you. Ah, oh, thanks, Aaron. <laughs> thanks so much. I just realised that I, at the start of the stream, I did introduce myself. I'm the streamer 
Um, we biscuits, a former Division Five driver <laughs> here with Aaron Seo, another. Actually won this race in Division Five last season. I yeah. did win this race. Yeah, I did. So, and we biscuits. My co com is Aaron Seo, who is usually the main streamer. Very familiar voice here now. Very very familiar <laughs> voice, obviously. Shouldn't be too I am long. A very unfamiliar voice. <laughs> yeah, I think it's is this your second time. It's your first time streaming it. Second time. Um. Actually, in the co in the um, comms positions. Yeah. Um. This is my first. Oh, well, this is my first time streaming it in RSF One. Mm -hmm. I have done uh, commentary for other leagues. But this is my first time in RSF One. It's my second time commentating. Obviously, last week we were in Australia. It was my first one. We're here in Monza. A lovely track for me to come back to. It is a lovely track. Thoroughly enjoy it as we get the formation lap underway. We don't have a lot of drivers on the grid. Obviously, a lot of them rejecting to race this week. They all have their reasons. To... Obviously. We've got three drivers um, opting to start on the soft compounded tyre. So that's going to be DCFC in P2, Dark Shadow in P12, and Lisa from P14. We've also got Lalvez, who is in P7, the um, leading Alpine at the moment, on the hard compound as well. So that'll be interesting to see, because the hard compound has actually held up very nicely over the past two nights. Yeah. Good to see. Thank you, Crayon Flower, for subscribing to the channel for two months. Hey, we love to see that. We do love to see it. Sorry if you randomly hear me go away, Aaron. I've That's got a bit of a cough for some reason. So good. It'll be very interesting to see if DCFC can get the jump on Gravedigger. Obviously, gonna have the inside line, I believe. I think it's the inside line at Monza. But it's also on the yeah, soft tyres as well. He is. DCFC will be on the inside line, Gravedigger will be on the outside line. The racing line for Gravedigger, but DCFC has the soft compound of tyres, so you'd expect him to have more grip in the first part of the race. So I'll quickly go through the grid from the back. We've got Lisa Vince starting 14th. We've got Daze Freak in 13th. Dark Shadow in 12th. We've got Kabuki in 11th. Then into the top 10 we go with JR Bradshaw starting P10. We've got Tema in the Haas starting P9. Then come the two Alpines of Brett Gret and La Alvarez. She's in 7th and 8th. Then we've got BVB Thor in 6th um, with Emotive Carrot for company in P5. And then we've got Slicks and Adam Moore sharing the second row. Then it's DCFC on the soft compound of Tyre in P2. And you've got the Haas of Gravedigger sitting currently P2 in the championship, but on the front row tonight without AK the Legend in the race. Yep, this is a, a huge chance for Gravedigger to extend in the championship. So I think it was, what, five? There must be like less than five points in it here now. It was very close. One of the ones up. It's extremely close anyway. We're going to have five red lights on. We're going to go on board with Gravedigger because we can't see the lights for some reason. Five red lights are on here at Monza. And it's foot to the floor and we're out. Brilliant start there from Gravedigger. He defends off DCFC coming down at the turn one. Blocking Gravedigger. He's got the. He just chooses to defend. Bit of contact on the rear there. And there's a car flying off in the background there. Who was that? It was the Alpine of Lauvres. But slicks up to P2, and we've got Lavrez in the wall there at turn one. And that causes a virtual safety car. A virtual safety car. Obviously, the only hard runner at Lavrez. DCFC didn't get the, the greatest of starts. He had a lot of wheel spin as he got off the grid, allowing slicks to get a phenomenal slipstream and almost getting up beside him as he head in towards turn one. But managed to fend Great it start. off. Good start from slicks there. Very good from Gravedigger as well to hold the position as well. 
We've got Bradshaw, by the way, up five positions off the start. Pace yep, Freak up to 11th. Looks like it was BVB Thor and Lauvarez in the collision at the back. I don't think Thor has a front. He does have a front. I wonder what's happened there. He's got end plate damage for the Mercedes driver. I think both Mercedes have damage. I'm back on the way here at Monza. Brilliant start there for Slicks. He's going to go down the inside into Parabolica. Brilliant move from Slicks. There. DCFC moves up into oh. P1 as well. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. Gravedigger starting to P3. Here goes Slicks and Gravedigger. Look at the slipstream from Gravedigger. It's almost going to go three ways. You might get both of them here. Decides to back out of it. It's about to be an absolutely amazing battle between these top three. Absolutely. And we've got Mr. Adam Moore, a very quick driver, not far behind these two as well. DCFC is looking like he's pulling away on that soft combine tyres. As we expected. We've got yeah. Thor and Lalvez in the pits after a turn one collision, so unfortunate for them to. And Dark Shadow as well was in the pit lane as well. Very unfortunate from the drivers there. We see DCFC going a bit wide there. Slips took it nicely, so Slips will have a run here. He's using all his ERS. He's gaining and he's gaining. He's not going to make the move, he's too far back. DCFC goes very wide again. Fire driver Slips is going to have to run here. Again. Slips not using any ERS. Clearly wanting to overtake down into turn one. Will Slicks make the move? I think he's going to get it quite easy here. DCFC chooses not to defend. So there goes Slicks into the lead of the race. Got Gravedigger at the back as well. Oh, slightest bit of contact between DCFC and Slicks into turn one. A bit more contact with Gravedigger and DCFC. Surprised there's no DNFs yet. We've got Adam Very Moore. Division 5. Adam Moore and GR Bradshaw going side by side through um, the Curva Grande. It's a great battle. It's going to be later on the brakes. Adam Moore's going to have the outside. Bradshaw has the inside line. Gets the move done on Adam Moore. Lovely move there from the Alfa Romeo up to P4 now. Flex goes off track there. Not very good for the Alpha Tower weight. BCFC has now got DRS, which has been enabled this a lot. Top 3, nothing separates them here. Better than Temple of Speed. Gravedigger doesn't need to take too much risks in this race, as he will pretty much he's pretty much guaranteed to take the championship lead if he finishes in the points. I think he has to score at least five points to retake the championship lead, but I'll get a confirmation on that as we watch him head down the main straight to start the fourth lap of the race. Slicks will be under pressure here with the DRS from DCFC. They're at a turn one and DCFC gets the move done. Quite easy to be honest from the Ferrari driver. He'll lock the other way though coming out of turn two. It's going to be a great battle. We've got Gravedigger who's kind of dropping back off these two. And we, don't, we don't have much further back. We have a battle here not between days three. Oh, we do. Okay. Crucially Tema as well. Yeah. Ace Freak defending off everyone behind him. Tema, Brick Rip and Kabuki. Ace Freak certainly a man to get his elbows out when he needs to. Yeah, he does know how to get his elbows out here. Got the top three. Here. Got a spin at the back for Kabuki. He's in the wall. Aston Martin has binned it, or they might have been contact. That's unfortunate for Kabuki. That's very unfortunate. Gravedigger may have gone up to P2 whilst we saw the Aston Martin stranded. Yeah. I've got confirmation. Have to run here on oh, we've got, yep. Yeah. Um, we'll wait until we see this move. Maybe head down towards turn one. 
KCFC will have in the slipstream on slicks. But so will Gravedigger. They might go three wide here. Gravedigger might back out of it. A bit of contact there from Whoa. DCFC. Can you go around the outside? Surely not. Gravedigger very deep. What is your confirmation then, Aaron? Um, I'd love to hear it. The championship lead is quite it's bigger than I thought it was, actually. It's 24 points between AK the Legend and Gravedigger. So, Gravedigger... 24 points? Absolutely, yeah. So, Gravedigger, we want to... Five points in Australia. Yeah. So, I'm not sure what's happened there. Maybe just some penalty points or something to do with that. But Gravedigger, we want for the best possible result to close that gap. We want to win this race. Absolutely. We'll need to win this race, to be honest, if he wants to gain the championship lead back. And fastest lap as well. Yes. We've got the top three, the closest battle right now. It's actually a five car battle looking like. It is. Slicks and DCFC are on similar ERS here. DCFC decides to deploy some of it down the back straight and Slicks decides not to. So we have DCFC leading Slicks from Gravedigger, Bradshaw and then Adam Moore at the back of this little battle here. Here go Slicks, he's going to get the move nice and easy. Very easy from Slicks. Very easy move. Very, very easy from Slicks. We've had a different person leading every coming down into turn one every time. Absolutely, yeah. It's just the power of the DRS and whoever has the um, higher top speed. And I think in this case it is Slicks because you can see how much he gains. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, DCFC has been leading into turn one a few times. But it's, uh, what I mean is it's a, in a different lap. With a different person, Dark Shadow setting the fastest lap. How much going on further back? It is mainly the top five having a little battle here. Gravedigger closing in on TCFC as well. Gonna go for the move down the inside. On the inside, contact! Oh, contact is out! Gravedigger, I think, might have broke himself and is out. Oh, that is absolutely, that is, that is not good at all for Gravedigger. I think Gravedigger might have just misjudged the breaking point and he slams into DCFC, one of his main rivals for this race. And it's cost him finishing the race and it brings out the full safety car now. He managed to clip that. I didn't get it. We've got it on stream, so it's fine. I didn't catch that on stream. Slicks with a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Got it. Thank you. That is heartbreaking for Groove Tiger. Bradshaw and Adam Moore decide to take track with Same with Days Freak. They decide to take track. Slicks got onto the softs. That is a bold strategy. Same with them. Um, provisionally second place DCFC as well. Some very odd strategies there. They'll be hoping for another safety car at this point, I believe. We have AK the Legend celebrating in chat there. I've had a <laughs> sorry message at the end. I mean, you've got you've got to take these wins as your ch as the championship leader. You do. That was a heartbreak for Gravedigger in the Haas. Nifty did say that he thinks Bradshaw could win this from P10. Look where Bradshaw is sitting right now, right at the considering top. It's, considering Slicks and DCFC are on the soft compound tyres as well. Nifty Nazare could be right here. This allows the McLaren to be in a perfect position as well, currently sitting P2 and P3. Absolutely. How much positions have they gained in this race? Oh, it's definitely this got freak to be is a lot. 10 positions. Bradshaw's up 9 positions, this week 10 positions, and Adam Moore up 1 position. Brilliant stuff from Days Freak there. Just biding his time. I think he had a feeling yeah. that this safety car was going to happen to allow him to get back into it.
An unfortunate penalty for um, Vince. We saw as they enter the pit lane to put on a set of soft tyres. Is it soft or is it medium? A lot of drivers. Medium. I was going to say, a lot of drivers have got onto the softs. Slicks is back in the pit lane and has put on the hard tyres. I think that might have, might have been, been an a, issue. Like, yeah, it might have been a glitch. It might have either been a glitch or he's not set his tyres to the right ones. So we've got... This event's going extremely slow. Come on out of the pit lane there. We have the Alfa Romeo of Bradshaw leading the race. Schumann safety car will probably be in at the end of this lap. If um, these back four can catch up in time. I think they will catch up, but I think it might do it for one more lap because it's usually coming to the bottom of the straight here where they decide if it comes in or not. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get one more lap behind the safety car. So we're going to have a different battle for the lead as we are probably going to restart on lap 10. Interesting between GR Bradshaw. Oh no, it is in this lap. Late call. Late call there from the race control. Typical. Anyway. Typical race <laughs> control. Anyway, we'll have Bradshaw leading the first safety car restart here. I'm surprised the call was that late. We've got both the McLarens right on his right on his backside there. They streak wants the best possible start ever. We're off at Monza again with Bradshaw. Leading the way, Dace Freak, full mage on the zero zero wings. But it doesn't look like it, does it? Yeah, certainly not um gain as much as you would have hoped for. Goes well, really goes wide. Straight on. He has to take to the escape road. Has to make sure he doesn't overtake so he doesn't get a penalty. He's back out in fifth place now. Crossing two positions. Mr. Williams driver. The Williams driver that's from last season. The McLaren driver. Now we've taken my dark shadow as well. Yeah, we've had Timmer who's had a spin as well. He's dropped all the way down to the last note. And Bregler have a phenomenal safety car restart up in at P3 now. Absolutely brilliant start there. Obviously, Days Freak drop. We've got our car off. And in it's the back, right? um, Lisa. Yeah, had a spin there. Days, there goes Bregler. Is absolutely vulnerable there to DCFs. Look at the speed. On that first back straight, that's unbelievable Absolutely. to get a move on that early on. Both DC's going for a battle of the last Absolutely. position. DC on the soft tyres as well. The tyres will wear out very quickly though. Yeah. The only man on soft compared to tyres. But these front runners are going to have to pit as well again. So. Absolutely. Good work out for them. have much happening in the turn one. Yes we do, we have Slicks on a switchback here on BVB Thor. Lovely move there from the Alpha Tango driver obviously. Thor's just Thor's about still with him. It's move. Lovely move there from Slicks. If everyone in front of him pits, Slicks will actually have an advantage here. He will. He's, he is under the, safety, he's under the pit window. He probably would have been she even higher help. up though, because he had to pit twice. We're Watch having chat, right? Uh, SRL Veto saying that Dave Street would bottle it, and what happened two minutes later? He bottled it. Not, I say not, bottled it. not, not my words. I'm not commentators no, cussing anyone. I would, he didn't, he didn't bottle it. Just took to the escape road. Yeah, well, but I'd say bottling it is spinning to the back of the field. Absolutely. So it's making up I'd another move now. Is easy? Yep, up to P8. Side by side of the Kabuki, round the outside. Nice move there. Two positions in one lap. Days Freak, very close to uh, Dark Shadow here. 
But it doesn't look like this has much gain speed. Line speed. Ah, getting no, a slip stream now. I take it back. It's in the second half of the stream. I take it all back. It's going to try and do a Daniel Ricardo down the inside. Hops to stay behind. It looks like Shadow has gone very deep there. A little bit of a twitch from Days. So this is our closest battle on track right now. Yeah, he's got a phenomenal Days slipstream. Yeah, I don't think he was going to send it there. That would have been race ending for both drivers there if he sent it. Got a brilliant exit though. Oh, gets very close to the back of the Red Bull. Which is not to make is all over the Red Bull. Surely along this back straight. Didn't take that second lesson very well though, did he? Up front though, DCFC is all over Bradshaw. Made the move on Mr. Adam Morse, he came out of Lesmo. Now Hunt's down to reinherit the lead. Oh, we've got Adam. We've got Adam Moore going off track. Luckily he has a 1.3 second cushion. I don't know if that was just me that seen that, but Adam Moore went onto the grass. These feet's all over the back of Dark Shadow still. And it's got Slex. Slex, Slex has got him. Slex has slipped through there. I'm interested to see what's happening at turn one, though, between top two. It doesn't look like much is going to happen here. Oh, God, I might want to watch for P5 at the moment. I it's am a drag race. This. We've got a crash up front, I think. DCFC's it's got DCF a shoot on, I think. It's, um, yeah, DCFC spun. spun it. We've got Slicks hanging on there. I wonder what's happening there with DCFC. Like a P7. DCFC has front wing damage as well. He's not got any right end plate. No, he doesn't. We've got side by side. Oh, side by side here with Days Freak and Dark Shadow. Days Freak's gonna go down the inside. Dark Shadow takes to the gravel, and DCFC is gonna slip through as well. He might even get Days Freak. What if Cat moves yeah, ahead of Dark Shadow? Yeah, he's missing that whole well. right side. On the back, we've got a lot of Carrot, Dark Shadow, and confusing. Uh, Dark Shadow's in a Aston Martin sandwich right now. Absolutely. Spread out a little bit. P3. It's not. It's not really that spread out. Yeah, P6 towards the back, it's a little bit. P5. More clustered. Look at the speed from DCFC. Look at the speed. It's phenomenal. Surely not. He's going. Surely not. Surely not. The soft tires as well, making it move. He's got no grip in the corners, so has he? Facebook's got to watch out because DCFC will be cutting into the pit lane. Maybe not. Facebook goes in, in the, the pit, pit lane. lane. Oh no! Look at this. <laughs> We've got the Aston Martins and the Red Bulls and the Ferrari. Down the inside goes Dark Shadow on Kabuki. A contact. He's going to have inside line though. Sorry, it's a motive carrot that was in that battle. It was a motive carrot. There goes a motive carrot on Dark Shadow with a slipstream, not using any ERS. Just needs to slip the back out of it and decide that that is not the place. To make the overtake. I think that's a sensible option from a motive car. Are going to wait until maybe around about the parabolica or into turn one. Yeah, you don't want. You don't really want to be making moves in there, as we've seen in real life. We've had Sebastian Vettel spinning there. We've had Verstappen and Hamilton going off track there as well. It's not a very. It's not a place you often see cars going side by side. Oh, look at this speed the speed on a motive car! Absolutely brilliant. Way before Aston the exit, Martin. Scotty. Aston Martin running very low wings there, absolutely breezes past Dark Shadow. Goes off track though and Dark Shadow's going to get the move again. Side by side on the back straight. Dark Shadow ideally would want to be behind Carrot. But Slicks and Brick Rat. Parabolica. Metal Jumper Boy Slicks and Brick Rat going to have a drag race towards turn 1 for P number 3. P2 now. As GR Bradshaw yep, comes into the pit lane. Bradshaw. I want to see what's happening further back. Look at this. We've got BVB4 decided not to go for the move. We've got Carrot going side by side. Can she go around the outside? She does not. She moves Her everywhere. Teammate slipped through though. Looks like it's all settled down up here. P5, Dark Shadow into P5. We've got Days Freak who has boxed as well. Might want to jump over with Slicks and Brick Rat. This is shaping up to be a really good battle for P2. Brick Rat obviously running a brilliant race. But Slicks is on them six lap old hard compound. So much more grip. He's on the. He does. 
can just see it. You can tell coming out here in the second Lesmo. Slicks should make the easy overtake here. Breeze pass! Looks like it's going to be it's very easy from Slicks there. Lovely move. The Alpha Tower driver. Yeah, you must you have to give it to him. He's on a, a blinder of a drive right now. Absolutely. Very good stuff. I think we've got a little bit of a battle with Timmer here. Absolutely, we're just about to say that. What's happened further back? I think Thor might have had him off there. Dark Shadow is going to get eaten alive by a motive by Kabuki, I think. We're going to have a great battle from P5 down towards P8 as they head towards turn one. Looks a bit spread out from the offboard angle. But obviously, we know what Monza is like. Dark Shadow's vulnerable with only 5% ERS though. I think further back we might have... We might have... No, we don't. Ah, just me being optimistic. We've got Timmer you know. on basically 100% ERS and then P8. Looks like Timmer might have a bit of a battle here. I think he's probably going to want to make it... Make use of it. As we've got... Um, Yellow flag in sector one, it's for Lisa having an off and we got uh Lalvarez in the back of the field, obviously he crashed at turn one. The only driver to crash. We're looking at front with slicks because he's trying to gain on Adam Moore here. Obviously on them fresher tires. It's further back though where the battles are happening. Black Shadow just goes off the track there and gets a three second time penalty. That is crucial for Dark Shadow. Currently sitting P5. And there's one of many drivers. I wonder what DCFC's tyres are like. Well, it's gone eight laps they must, already. They must be screaming Into the at pit lane. Them. Yeah, they must have been screaming at Absolutely. them there. Remember at the 50 mark, I'd say. We got a pretty, this will be a pretty easy overtake for Kabuki. Pretty sure that'll be a yellow striped tyre going onto the Ferrari for the rest of the race, it is. And a front wing change. Oh, a bit of contact there between Kabuki and Dark Shadow. Kabuki takes fourth place, we've got Carrot behind. Oh, the other Aston Martin get past. Can a motor Carrot make the move this time and decide to back off? Smart, I think, from Motive Carrot. Motive Carrot's really thinking about the later stages of the lap, knowing where's the best places to overtake. Good racecraft. Absolutely. Up front, there's not much really happening. Slicks appears to be gaining slightly on Adam Moore. But this is really where the battle is happening for P5 and 6. Timo has kind of dropped back from this pack. So it's an Aston Martin sandwich. We've got a, a yellow it's flag. Lisa Vince, in who has two. found the grass, in towards Lesmo, is letting other drivers pass. Got to give it to Lisa. They're, they're committed every single week. Whenever they yeah. can race, mm -hmm. they always race, do every lap. And we're going to watch Dark Shadow and Kabuki here going down into turn one. Should be a fairly easy overtake for Dark Shadow. The DCFC picking up a time penalty, that is crucial for him as well. We're watching Dark Shadow, who goes to the inside line. Down the inside, breaks as late as he can. Kabuki is going to stay with him. What's the very tight? Side by side. And what if Carr going to try and get the run as well? Shocking. I think this is Carrot's ideal chance here, with these two going side by side to pick off the scraps. She does hang back. Look at these two, they're side by side, but... Kabuki breaks extremely late. late there. Keeps the position though. Dark Shadow's through. No, he doesn't. Oh my lord, that game audio is quite bad. That's the one thing with EA and spectating. Oh. Is that the game audio is very bad at times. Wouldn't expect anything else though. But Kabuki and Emotive Car are both hanging on to the back of Dark Shadow with DRS, so letting them pull him along as we see Slicks taking the lead as Adam Moore goes into the pit lane. 
And Motive Carrot has saved her at ERS very well here. She's got 51% of it. Absolutely. She's going to, she's going to try and make the move on her teammate here. Teammate defends the inside lines, weaving all over the place. But Carrot opts not to make the move. Breaks quite late though, but deep into the corner there. As we have Slicks leading the race by 10 seconds. I think Slicks might struggle towards the end of this race, so they're going to be about nearly 20 lap old um, hards. Look at Dark Shadow, he's almost at 20 lap old hards. Yeah. Slicks is really good. No, but Timma and BBB4 going, side, going at it here. Two great friends, known each other Absolutely. for a very long time. Gonna have a battle as they head towards uh, Mascari. Obviously Thor got Timma back into Division 5. Thor has that way about himself where he's able to convince a lot of people. He convinced Timma to come back to Division 5. Because look at the speed of Thor. He's gaining so much through Ascari Chicane there. Timma's going to be so vulnerable here. <laughs> Thor decides not to want. He doesn't. He doesn't want the DRS. He, want, he, he wants the DRS. Yeah, Thor wants the DRS going towards turn one. A bit of a strategical play. Has a bit of a gap. Doesn't work though. He's gonna gain. We've got side by side. Um, uh, we do have side by side. Who goes carrot? Carrot's gonna get them both. Through goes. Well, it was very carrot. close. Into second place. To Aston Martin's making it up into the podiums. There's a bit of contact between the two of them. Is the Aston Martins running second and third at the moment? Phenomenal stuff from them so far. As we see, um, it might have Cat having to take to the escape road, out breaking herself as they go into the chicane. Yeah, sorry, I was uh, away for a second there. Nope. Dark Shadow making it up to P3 due to our offing by Kabuki. Kabuki went off today. I think so, maybe through Lesmo. And we've got beef. we've got Timmer catching back up to this group. The most ERS, 79% ERS for Timmer. Talk about saving. What if Carrot is on them 16 lap old hard? She's gonna have to box again. BTB4 is all over the back of Kabuki here. Could see a move. As we see Kabuki going into the pit lane, as I might have expected. I'm watching, I'm watching BVB4 and Timmer going side by side into turn one. Nothing happens though. The Dark Shadow and Kara. Did you see Kara into turn one last lap? Took both of the cars, both her teammate and Dark Shadow, all in one straight line. Dark Shadow now doing the um, job that Motive Carrot was doing for the past few laps of staying behind and waiting for the DRS. Absolutely, he doesn't need to worry about BVB4 that much as he's got his own fight with Timmer. But the man in front, Slicks, has pulled 13 seconds now. Very good for Slicks. I do wonder, has Slicks ever won a race in RSF1 before? Um. Slicks has not, no. I really don't want to jinx him though. Because, um. I don't want to jinx We done it last week with Leon by accident. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut about Slicks and focus on the battle for third place at the moment between Dark Shadow, Thor, and Timmer. If you're confused about what we're talking about, last, le last week, Leon was at, went from the back of the field, went up to P5, and we said he was having a bright race and he could even get a podium. And then 30 seconds later, he crashed into this man, Timmer, and he went out of the race. So that's why me and Aaron have decided to keep our mouth shut. So we've got Dark Shadow down the inside on a motive carrot. That was a, that was the inevitable there, wasn't it? Absolutely. You could see it coming from a mile away, just down the main straight. But is a motive carrot going to try and stay behind and maybe do the same thing a lap later? Both have three second time penalties here. We've got, we've got Timmer on eight seconds time penalty. 
So that's not going to help them out whatsoever. We've got Adam Moore getting involved in this as well from absolutely nowhere on the soft tyres as well. And David, he's going to go. He's going to make the move on Timmer. Lovely move from Adam Moore there. He's from absolutely nowhere. Look at the speed of Adam Moore. Them soft compound tyres. I didn't even notice him pitting for the softs. I noticed, but I didn't think he'd catch him back Look quickly. Look at him go. He's going to pack off another one as they go into Ascari. Look down the inside. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. He breaks himself a little bit. Oh, that was close. Wow, that was very close. That was extremely close That could have ended nasty. There. Adam Moore just mega speed there, but obviously you've seen him outbreak himself by a country mile. Look at look at Timmer. Timmer's going to get back at Adam Moore. This is too much to commentate on. It's absolutely amazing racing though tonight. So, this is one of the best we've seen around Monza so far. We've got a motive carrot on Dark Shadow side by side. Dark Shadow not using any ERS and it's an easy move. As I predicted, a motive, motive carrot. carrot. Can you go, go around the outside, outside the game, though? He, he can. Oh, a motive carrot just keeps the position though. These two drivers are really going for it. And they really We've do. Got Adam Moore. Look at Adam Moore go. McLaren are flying here. Is that a bit of contact there between Thor and Dark Shadow? He's going to give Adam more the run. on the outside here. Ah, stupid to make a move there if I was Thor. Oh, oh there's contact! Oh, oh, Adam Moore is very lucky to be on the track. <laughs> yeah, so is Dark Shadow if you noticed in the, in the front of the picture. I had a massive snap on the grass there. We've got Crane Flowers in Adam Moore for F4. I think it's just really good strategy from Adam Moore if anything. I think he's played this out beautifully, to be honest. He really has. Is this, do you know what? Do you know who? Do you know who is in P7 and catching up to this group? The GR Bradshaw. Absolutely. No it time for the win, either. but it will definitely be for a podium, I think. Look at the trainer car behind the motive carrot. Who let Adam Moore cook? He's got absolutely so much grip as he head towards turn one. Who let a motor carrot become the Minister of Defence? Look at Thor go. They've got side by side. Of them. Oh god, Adam Moore too! The oh, recon. Adam Moore! Oh. He got two in, the, in one corner! Oh my days. This is unbelievable racing. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Driving standards have been out of this world. This is one of the best driver standards we've seen all season. I have another position. Any division. Inside! Adam Moore's up in the inside. He's absolutely flying. I missed that, but I can tell he is flying. But yeah, this is the cleanest anyone has been this season alone, to be honest, I think. It only has one, been amazing. Only one DNF in this race, which is, which is quite outstanding, to be honest. It really is. Considering last night, how much did we have last night? I think night we had about hour? seven DNFs or something like that. Which was unfortunate. Let's hope nothing happens. Let's hope no commentator curse and let's hope seven drivers do not go out. Maybe we should just go and mute for the last four laps and say nothing, but that would be a bit Bradshaw, not interesting. Yeah. Bradshaw has completely caught up to the dark, the dark of black. No, the, the black of. Nope. The back of Dark Shadow. Still trying to hold on to the back of Thor as well. Yep. Thor's trying to hold on to the back of a move carrot. Bad. We got who's that? Dark Shadow. Going down the inside of Timmer for P5. But Timmer's going to respond. Going to get him back though. Who else is here as well? Gia yeah, Bradshaw. Here goes Bradshaw on Dark Shadow. Can he get the move done? I think he's going to go down, down the, inside. the inside into the chicane. And Very a good beautiful stuff. move there from Bradshaw. Dark Shadow was defenseless there, and this is this is allowing DC this is DC eighty brick rep. He's starting to catch back up on that soft compound as well. Absolutely. But this freak in P eleven right now. Thor making the move on a motive carrot. Thor without a penalty carrot as well. Is on. I was going to say, a motive carrot is on 21 lap old hearts. B3B4 is on 22 lap old hearts, so. Brilliant drive from Thor there. Yeah, Bradshaw's cooking as well in P5, no penalties either. Absolutely. Got the move on Tim up. 
I don't think there's a single person in this division that hasn't had a good race today. Grave Digger. So far. Unfortunate. Well, Hark, yeah, Hark goes out to Grave Digger, but we move on, we've got Please. about three laps or so left. Grave Digger's one of the nicest person you'll ever speak to. Absolutely. As well. Hopefully he can bounce back better next week as we head to Azerbaijan. Obviously the championship cap will not extend whatsoever. Four minutes after checkered flag, Dave's freak requests and I've just read that. F4. Absolute bull <laughs> prediction from AK the legend. Very bull prediction. <laughs> This race has calmed down, probably for the better, so it allows us to catch our breath again. We've still got a battle for P3 on our hands though. We do, yeah. So BBB thought I might have this thing. GR. And what if Carrot does carry a penalty, so that would promote got GR Bradshaw as it stands. Absolutely. Ma what, Carrot, Carrot, another penalty! Second. Oh, that is and crucial. And goes off track. Before got everything wrong there in Ascari. He completely missed the curve and went flying over the gravel. Just the middle of Carrot is going to be absolutely flying here. He's going to go for the move. Probably down at the turn one. 58% ERS to work with and DRS for that extra boost. Thought is flashing as you can see. He's got no plan on ERS. Yeah, Brad was on the hunt Carrot as well. Isn't going to make the move. been a very good drive from Bradshaw, I must say. I'm looking at this man, the Alpha Tower driver, has just been in a complete world of his own, to be honest, in the late stage of this race. We have Glider wondering what are the championship standings at the moment. I'll read out the um, top three to you at the moment. AK the Legend on 87 points has a 24 point gap to Gravedigger, who unfortunately DNF'd in the earlier parts of this race. And then Adam Moore um, follows behind 20 points behind Grave Digger in P3. We've got a motive carrot under pressure here from Bradshaw. I don't see Bradshaw getting the win obviously, but I do see him potentially taking third place. As such oh, we'll his final the lap. His final lap of the race, yep. Even with Adam Moore on them soft cover tires, the cap hasn't gone down whatsoever. Bradshaw makes the move of a motive carrot. This is not over whatsoever between them, Thor and Bradshaw. This is going to go down to the line, I think, for P3. We'll have to stay on board with this for the full lap because both don't have penalties. Yeah, Bradshaw, Bradshaw much, just gained. He's got much um, fresher tyres as well. Absolutely. They're not fresh, but they're fresher. Bradshaw's got a brilliant exit there. Then. A couple of what that is. What, 14 old younger tyres? 14 laps? Absolutely. Maybe, like that. Anyway, is he going to go around the outside? Surely not. Get a bit of contact there from by Thor. Thor. Keeps his nose in, but he just can't make the move there. Hard but fair racing between these two, and here comes Carrot. Carrot's carrying that time penalty though, so I don't think we'll make up any more positions. This week has gone for the fastest lap attempt. I just noticed that. But Suggs coming up to the parabolic and now as well. We have the Alpha Tower man. The main Alpha Tower, his teammate, AK Legend, isn't here. But you know what? Slugs hasn't given a toss about that. He's coming to the line now. He's going to take the win here at Monza. Your Division 5 winner is Slicks. Absolutely brilliant drive from the Alpha Tower there. And it looks Adamore like. Haven't. And more P2, exactly as you're about to say. But it looks like Thor. Thor is going to just hang on to JR Bradshaw and then scoop P3 from the um, Alfa Romeo. Thor takes P3. Bradshaw has to settle for 4. Regret's promoted. Regret up to P5. Yeah, due to penalties. Absolutely. What a race. An absolutely brilliant race. Has this freak gotten fast as lap? We'll have to Let's wait watch and see. Go through Ascari now. He's one second up on his time. Man that loves snatching points away from people, even if he doesn't get them himself. 
just the well, satisfaction of doing so. Will he get past the slap? slap now! <laughs> Did he get Did it? He? Did he get we'll it? We'll have to wait and see <laughs> the race know. director. We will have to see. And we'll get. Can you invite our top three? Absolutely. I will go party? Now. You've got to be happy for Slicks. After all the lows, do, yeah. after all the lows in the past few races, he's come through and done it. And what a place to do it as well at Monza. What a podium Absolutely. this is. Been lucky enough to stand on it myself. Going there, and it is some sight. Fantastic Absolutely. job for Slicks. Great to see Thor as well having a tough couple of races, getting on that podium as well. Obviously, Slicks is the driver who's had the most unlucky start to the season ever. Maybe this is a sign of things to come. Hopefully it is, because Slicks is a brilliant driver. And Days Freak did not get the fastest lap, unfortunately. Did he not? It went to his teammate, Adam Moore, who got P2. We got BCB4 coming from 6th on the grid up to P3. Slicks from 4th on the grid and Adam Moore from third. We got Bradshaw from P10 up to P4. Great stuff from him. I shall try and get our drivers into the party and we'll get a little chat with them. Take it, I um, don't have to scroll all the way down. Just no, I've the got screen, them. Yeah? Yep. Perfect. If you're able to um, go to the um, showroom for the drivers so okay, that okay. we have their cars that they were driving tonight. Yep. And then we'll give them like a minute or two to get themselves okay. sorted. An amazing race tonight that was. From start to finish. Um, Roy, would you like me to get us started with our P3 driver? Uh, yes, please, that would be... Um, so... Showroom. It's... Got it. Got it. Okay, we'll go to Thor. Um, an amazing performance from yourself tonight. Um, obviously, on that last lap, you had a brilliant battle with GR Bradshaw for that final podium position. Um, was the nerves starting to kick in as you thought maybe GR Bradshaw was going to overtake you or did you think you had it in the bag? No, like my tyres were at 81%. I did 26 laps on the hards, I think. Oh. So um, I was just trying my best to defend and uh, make the car as wide as possible because um, I'd just seen him come closer and closer. So, yeah, I was, yeah, I was worried there in the last two laps really, but I managed to hold on. Yeah, well, um, obviously managed to hold on, as you said, um, qualified P6 for the race, so obviously a great result for yourself to get onto the podium. Um, talk us through like your um, the transition, obviously it was a wet qualifying and a dry race. How do you think you fared in the wet compared to the dry? Uh, well, I had my, my dry setup on and my quality time in, in, in the wet wasn't, I think, that... Uh, reflective of my pace because the time I set I think was on five I had five laps of fuel on board with the time I set I wanted to do another run at the end my second stint and I messed up my first run and I messed up I think at the at turn one and two my second run so I only really had one run with about five laps of fuel so I think maybe I could have gone p3 p4 I think I don't think I would have been higher than that um so I was I think I was in a back foot a little bit but um, yeah, I've been practicing uh, a good bit now this week um, with Charismic. Uh, shout out to him, Orphan and Timmy as well. Um, but yeah, I, I, my pace on the wet and the dry was okay. Um, straight line speed, I think, was a bit slow, but it got me P3. 
Yeah, absolutely. It seemed for the whole um, 27, I think, laps of that race, you seemed to have a battle with everyone. Who do you reckon was your favourite driver to have a battle with tonight? Uh, for me, I always like battling Timmy because, uh, um, you know, for, I, I'd like to battle him. Um, yeah, I, I'd go with Timmy. Uh, I know he's only come back and I think he'll only get quicker. But I think it'll be him because uh, we used to have good battles uh, back in the day, so... Um, yeah, I just I was unfortunate. Kind of lap one, turn one, I was sitting in the back, lost my, I lost a bit of my end plate, so I was at the back of the grid after basically turn one. So, um, yeah, happy, happy, happy out with the results mm-hmm. though to get P three, and congrats. Yeah, well, it was an two, amazing so. recovery. Thank you. Um, how do you feel about um, heading to Azerbaijan next week? I like Baku. Uh, it's I I think you love it or you hate it. Uh, I I I I tend to more love it. I think. Um, last season I came back after not racing for two years, and it was the first track I came back to, and I think I got P four. So I'm hoping for top five. That's my goal for next week. Yeah, well, hopefully just as much luck as um, and obviously great driving as you performed tonight, and hopefully we'll see you back in here. Um, this time next week after the Baku Grand Prix. Right. Thanks, William, guys. Bye bye. No bother. Congrats again. Thank you. <clears throat> well, we'll go to our second place driver now, Adam Moore, the McLaren driver. I mean, if he didn't impress us last week, you've pulled it out of the bag again, mate. Yeah, I'm like, getting a bit of a habit of getting up on this video, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice um, habit that to have. Last that last stint on the softs was unbelievable, to be honest. He just seemed to have the pace over every single person on the track. Yeah, so I was going to come in around lap 15, but I don't think I'd have got to the end. So I just I pushed the mediums as long as I felt comfortable. And uh, everyone else went on to hards. I went to the softs and, I don't know, it just all came together in the end. Yeah, obviously... Qualified, was it P4 yourself? Uh, P3, in the wet conditions? I believe. P3? P3, went straight down to P4 way. after the first corner. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's always expected in Monza. If you're, not, if you're not first or last, you do tend to lose a bunch of positions. Yeah. But, obviously, you um, went onto the softs at the end of that race from the mediums. And the, as we've seen with, with DCFC, the softs usually last about five or so laps, maybe even a bit longer. So what was your tyre like on that last lap? Uh, I was on around 45, I believe, something like that. So my my set, the setup I was using really aided the tyres, which is why I was able to take the mediums as long as I did. May have to so nick that for tomorrow night off for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can sort that. <laughs> Well, yeah, again, uh, you've managed to pull it out of the bag there with another fantastic drive, so go and enjoy your second place again. I will, I'm, I'm sure looking for the win next week. <laughs> the win, yeah, obviously. That's Pulling what I'm missing. Way up there. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. No bother, congrats well, again, mate. Drive, mate. Thank you. Well, we have our first place winner now. We have Alpha Tari. Of Slicks, I believe this is your first one in RSF1, but correct me if I'm wrong. It is. Brilliant. We'd love to see it. So, obviously, you um qualified P4, and you were near the end of near the back of the field on the safety car restart. Mm-hmm. At the end of the race, you pulled a 13-second gap. Just talk me through what happened, to be honest, that whole race. Well, I started P4. We were came to lap seven with the safety car. I went to go pit for the hards, but then got the five second penalty in the pit side. So decided to pit for the softs to get to go around and pit for the hards again to get rid of the penalty. Yeah, that that does help a lot. I'd done that in France last year, and got the podium. So yeah, I don't know what to say. You were just no one could really match you on the pace for track. Yeah. Just, the, it's, the race win's been coming, obviously, with the, the great qualifying form, with the pole positions you have this season, just extremely unlucky in the race. Yep. But the win, the win was always coming. 
We always know it was there, don't we? Mm -hmm. I was hoping for it as well. Because last yeah. season, in season 8, I got my first points in the Monza as well. Well, it's just gone better this year, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to add, Aaron? Um, no, just obviously congratulations to yourself. I speak to you quite a lot. Thank you. And I know how much this play actually means to you getting your um, first one after the um, luck you've had in the past few races. So go and um, yeah. enjoy it and hopefully we can see more of this performance as we head through the season. I'm hoping so. Well, congrats again, mate, and hope Thank you enjoy it. Thank you very it. much. Well done. Thanks. So that has been your Division 5 race around Monza in Season 9. I've been your streamer, um, we Biscuit 17 along with my co-commentator, Aaron Essio, and from both of us, we wish you all a very good night, and we'll see you in the future. Good night, everybody. Bye.